Hey and welcome. I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to uninstall and then reinstall Minecraft. I've noticed a lot of people having problems with this here, so I'm going to cover it right quick. And before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do to get started is we're going to uninstall Minecraft. Uh, before you do this though, write down your server IPs would be a really good idea. Or take a screenshot, because once that folder is deleted, your worlds are going to be gone and all of the servers are going to be gone. So before you delete it, in here there's some saved worlds, uh, game saves and stuff like that. You'll want to save those folders. I don't have any saved games, so I guess it didn't make me a folder. We're just going to go down here. It's just like any other application. We just go in here to the window settings, go to apps, go to installed apps, and then scroll down until we find the Minecraft launcher. It should be on here. If you see two of them, uninstall them both. You're not going to need the old one. And you're not going to need the other one. You have to make sure you uninstall both. So just click the uninstall. This uninstalls like any other application. It's fairly easy. We're just going to get rid of that. After it's installed, we're going to hit the Windows key R. And we're going to go to percent app data percent sign. This is just going to open up a roaming folder. This is where the .minecraft folder is going to be. And if you click on it, there's going to be some stuff in here. We just want to delete that so that we have none of the old Minecraft things kicking around when you open the game and you're in the launcher if you have servers like hypixel or anything like that you'll want to make sure that you write those down before you do the uninstall process so i should have probably said that first before i click that uninstall go through here save your saved worlds and your screenshots before you uninstall it because those will be lost and then make sure to write down any of the servers that you have saved after that though We'll just click delete on it anyways. We don't need it. We didn't have any of those things. We're having issues with Minecraft. We just need to get rid of it. And there we go. We'll just click empty recycling bin. I suggest restarting your computer now. Or if you have a problem when you when you click delete on that and it says the files are in use, restart your computer and then try again. It should be re able to be removed the second time after the restart if it didn't the first time. That's just due to some of the services still running that were running while the install was going. So that sometimes does happen. So if it says your files are being access or in use somewhere else restart your computer and then click the delete but that's everything for the uninstall that's how easy it is it's just like any other application once you uninstalled it from windows you just delete the folder and now let's just jump over to the install okay to install minecraft now it's a little different than it used to be before you used to go to minecraft.com and or minecraft.net and download the launcher Today, that does not work. That no longer works. If you go to one of my old videos, how to uninstall it and reinstall it the correct way, the links there were, are going to bring you to an online download where you're going to have to download like the Windows 7 version of it. And once that's downloaded, it's going to make you do it this way. So we might as well just skip that step and do it this here way. To get started with this here install, we have to go to the Windows Store. So if you don't have win access to the Windows Store, this isn't going to be an option for you. Just open up the Windows Store and there's a few things we need to do in here. If your Minecraft is at a different email address than your Microsoft Store, log out here, just use the sign out, and sign back in with your Minecraft account. The Microsoft Store needs to be logged in to the account that has Minecraft, or you will not be able to download it. It's going to ask you to buy it. If it asks you to buy it, you need to go log out and log back in with your Minecraft account information that's your windows live id so since the migration that's how you will get it you have to click here you have to log in to your minecraft in the windows store before we go find minecraft to download it that's just something that's just been added in since they took the download down off of the website this used to be a lot easier you used to just go click the download and be done with it but now you have to go into windows microsoft store log into the account that owns minecraft and then we just need to search here for minecraft launcher it's just going to be that easy just type in minecraft launcher it'll load up in the microsoft store it'll say you own it if it doesn't log out and log in with the correct account if it says you need to buy it you're in the wrong account don't leave comments about it down below. I do not want to hear it. Contact support. That's their issue, not mine. I do. Not, I can't fix that issue for you. If you're having it, you need to follow the instructions, log out, log back in with your profile. If it does not work, go on to Minecraft.com. Make sure that your login information is the same. If past that point it doesn't work, contact support. That being said, just click on it and click install. It's that easy. You can click the additions and you can go down here and pick uh, multiple other ones. I just only. Ha I just want the launcher because I own Bedrock and the Java edition if you own one or the other you own both so just click the install 
It's going to click yes and go through the install process like most Microsoft Store apps. So it's just going to say downloading and install and we're not going to see the launcher until that's completed. It'll take a few minutes to download. When it's done, I'll just get back with you. Okay, if you stayed on the page, uh, it should come up with a play once you're done downloading. If it comes up with an error message, read the error message and Google it. Like I said, if you do have an issue with it that comes up with an error code or something like that, it could be other problems with your computer, definitely contact support first. It will get, they'll get back to you pretty quick. But once it's done, the Minecraft launcher should say play. Now you can just click this here to get started. You won't want to launch it the first time. So we're just going to click on it. It's going to say updating Minecraft launcher. It's going to download some files. It's going to update some things for us. This should only take a few minutes though. Okay, perfect. Uh, new launcher update is ready. Restart your launcher to use the latest version. So we're going to do that. We're just going to click the exit here and then we're going to click play again just so that we don't run across any issues. You want to make sure that you close it and then reopen it before you log in just to make sure that you do not have any issues. Okay, once you're here, this is pretty uh, basic. You should be logging in with a Microsoft account, not a Mojang account. That If you still have a Mojang account, this video is not for you. This is for a Microsoft login. This Microsoft login, the way to get it through the Microsoft store, is not the same at all if you're still on an old Mojang account. They should have forced you to update by now, but just in case, I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that. And we just want to log in with the Microsoft account that we use to log into our Microsoft store with, so our Minecraft account. This is going to automatically connect to my Xbox account and ask if this is me because I'm already signed in everywhere on this here computer. That's perfect. That makes it for easy. That makes it easy for us. And we just click let's go. Just double check to make sure that that is your user's name and that is your account because if you click past that point and log in, you'll have to log out and log back in to get it to work, which is very inconvenient. But there we go. It lo loaded in with my Xbox account. So that's something else to keep in mind too. It did log in with my Xbox account. I'm not logged into Xbox, I don't think. But if you're not, if you have any issues with that and it doesn't automatically log in, it could be just because you need to do you need to launch the Xbox app and just log in here. This usually happens when I log into my Windows Live automatically. So I'm signed in everywhere as the same person. It's all linked to my live account that I the set Windows 11 up on the computer with. So it all uses the same credentials. So when I log into my computer and when I sign up and download these things, most of the things connect automatically. So that's something to keep in mind as well. We're just going to close the Xbox app. I just wanted to make sure that that's worth the mention. If you're logged into there as well, if you have any issues, just go back and log in there. That should fix any. And that's really it for this one here. That was a, a quick install, the new way to do it. This here should get you straightened out if you're having problems with the old installation. Like I said, I made a few videos. That way no longer works. So I'm hoping this here gets everyone straightened out and back on track. It's very easy to install and uninstall Minecraft, but when you're having an error and you remember installing it an old way, it, it could cause you quite a few issues, so I'm just clearing that up with this here video. But that's it for this one here. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.